And as you can see, the day started off on a wet note and we still have some showers out there. Let's head over to First Alert meteorologist Kristen Emery for if they will end anytime soon. Kristen. Yeah, Erica, a very, very soggy start to the day. Some areas even saw some records out in through East Central Ohio. The new Philadelphia area picked up more than three and a half inches of rain in 24 hours from those downpours. Uh, lesser amounts across the area, but boy, it was a wet start. Rumbles of thunder, lightning all over the place. A much different story now. We still have some scattered showers pushing down through the area. A couple of heavier isolated cells just up north of I-80 into Mercer County over into Venango Clarion counties, but the bulk of this is already pushing down to the south and east. This is moisture that's ahead of that cold front that's sweeping through the area, and you can see all of these orange boxes. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings just ahead of that cold front. The relatively cooler and less humid air plowing into those 90 degree temperatures and that high humidity that's still over along that I 95 corridor today. We luckily have have not had uh, any more severe weather as we had the little, the second round of this rain push through and we'll be done with that as we head through the rest of the evening. The high today hit 82. We're down to 79 more comfortable degrees right now. So a little bit of a heat index winds out of the west northwest now behind that front at 15 miles per hour. Now we get the good stuff coming in. Look at these temperatures. Newcastle is down to 75 Butler 78. It's still raining in Franklin 68 degrees there. By contrast, clear skies and 80 in Beaver. It's still 78 in Morgantown, and we're looking at this cooler, less humid air slowly rushing in over the next 24 hours. So the temperatures and you see the heat index readings. That's the temperature humidity factored together in the red only down to about 80 to 75. So much different than those mid to upper 90s, even triple digit heat index numbers that we saw yesterday. Overnight tonight, we're down to the lower to mid 60s. More comfortable air on the way. The dew points go from the 60s now behind this cold front. By the time we get to Sunday night, Monday, the dew point drops into the 50s. That's nice, more comfortable, less humid air on the way to start the week and to start the month of August. How about that? We always think of August, the dog days of summer. We're looking at pretty nice weather for the first week of August. Overnight tonight, sky slowly clear. We do have a lot of moisture around, so we are looking at the good chance for some patchy fog, especially in the valleys, the low lying areas the next couple of nights, especially tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, here's two o'clock on Futurecast. Between two, three, four, five, we could see a pop up stray shower or storm as a little piece of energy drops through the area. Otherwise, dry for the day, more comfortable temperatures. And then Monday, lots of sunshine around. Again, a stray shower possible north Monday night into Tuesday, but it looks like a pretty dry start to the week. Tonight, patchy fog toward morning, 63 your overnight low. The showers slowly push out to the south and east. And then tomorrow, we have lots of sunshine, 80 degrees, late afternoon stray shower or a pop up storm. Not out of the question, but not likely. We'll still mention the possibility. Monday, lots of sunshine, beautiful day, 79, less humid and sticky. Tuesday, partly cloudy, 80 degrees. Wednesday, we're back up to 82 with more sunshine. And then we finally get a chance for a few late afternoon, evening, isolated showers or storms on Thursday and Friday. Again, Saturday, a chance for a few scattered showers. We warm up a bit, but we stay very seasonable for early August in the lower to mid 80s.